Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Good health, everyone. Good health. How are you doing today? We are here to bring on yet another segment of dashikis and bonnets <laughs> that should be a, a a thing maybe the dashikis and bonnets should have its own opening dashikis and bonnets <laughs> how's everyone doing today i feel like i haven't done the dashikis and bonnets all week it's already thursday did i do it monday did I do it Tuesday? Like, what happened? All right. I don't know. I can't remember the days anymore. They're all blending together when you live in an island that is super slow. Super slow. Um, and I guess I'm making fun of the island. Yes, island people. You're making fun. Lighten up. Um, good morning and good health, Mimi. Doris. Jackson, Diamond, hello, sweetie. Hi, Royalty. How's it? Oh, wait. YouTube. Hi, Adriana. Good health. Hey, Deborah. Good health. Hey, Bobo. <laughs> oh, my God. <I> cookie. <laughs> so, I hope you guys are looking at the horoscopes. So far, I've only done Leo and Sag. Pray for me. I need to get two out today. Pray for me. Pray that I get two out. Okay. Please take a look at the horoscope. I also want, want to encourage you all to go back to November's horoscope. And um, don't forget to look at Venus in retrograde December horoscope. All right. When you go back and look at those horoscopes, you'll, you'll see that I said something that was accurate. And you're going to be like, oh, my God, why didn't I look at this, you know, video when I had the chance. Right. That's what's going to happen. I promise you. Because it happens to me. I don't do my readings for me. But when I go back and look at Leo, I'm like, oh, my God. I was trying to tell me something because it all came out true. It's all right. It is what it is. So I'm going to pick randomly, right? I do can't see it, but I'll let you two see it. I might do the horoscope flat this way too. This kind of feels better. But that way y'all I can let y'all look at the oh it doesn't matter. I'm just crazy. I'll do it any way I want. I like when something sticks out. So this is sticking out YouTube. I'm just gonna take this one because it's looks like sticking out ahead of everyone else. These are the uh horoscopes I use right to talk to the final outcome of your personal readings. So for right now, these are my favorites and they're called Wisdom of the Oracle. I really like the whimsical pictures. And in almost every picture, there's spirit inside of something. I like that too, that I love spirit. Okay, Deborah, I have only one rule and let me repeat this again. Do not ask about your horoscope. That's the, it's a pet peeve of mine. If I'm doing one, I'm doing all of them. So do not ask. Also, it's random this time. I'm pulling the rabbit out of shit. Pulling a rabbit out of the hat. And so please do not, please do not ask. It's a pet peeve. Because it's very self-absorbed for everyone to ask about their own horoscopes. And I'm one person. 
So when you do that, it actually upsets me. And it's one of the reasons why I stopped doing the horoscopes because everyone was inside themselves. I'm one person. So stay chill. You're going to get done. I am not choosing who's first. I'm not choosing who's last. Spirit chooses and that'll be it. No, Deborah, it's not nice for you to say that. Pull back, pull back your energy and just hear me, hear me. I'm saying everyone will get done. Please do not ask. It's a pet peeve. Every month they go through this. And I, I'm, I'm, I, I want you all to appreciate that I do all the horoscopes. I don't pick and choose. I do all of them every month. Right? And I'm sorry if I have to say it to you directly, but I think there are other horoscope people that y'all could harass. I'm, I'm not the one. It cannot be. Because if you notice, I do dashikis and bonnets. I do horoscopes. I do readings. I do celebrity outcome, like, you know, the BS with Kylie and Travis. Like, I do a lot that I don't need the individuals to tell me about what horoscopes they need. I want you to notice that I will take care of you anyway. It's okay. Thank you, Deborah. It's okay. I'm explaining to you, but I'm also explaining to others. So don't, don't, I don't want, I'm not attacking you. I'm actually attacking the world. <laughs> All right, let's get this party started. Oh. Look at it. What an appropriate card. Peace. If you guys knew what I went through yesterday, this card, sometimes I think these cards are talking to me. Sometimes I think I do these dashikis and bonnets for me. Oh, my God. If you guys knew what I went through yesterday and how spirit had to knock. Where's my book at? Spirit had to knock me out last night. Like, literally, just go, you have, you, boom, like, zip sleep in order for me to wake up refresh because the city was rough <sighs> the city was so rough the selfish people i run into all the time who who want to be they want to be better than me they want to stop me i don't know what it is it's just whew. then i have to lay them out I got to remind them of who they are. It's a nightmare. But who else needs this card? Who else needs peace? Look how pretty that card is. Who else needs it? I know I do. It's a good card. Looks like there's a dove above. I don't know what the dove is carrying. Some leaf with berries on it. Spirit is in, I think this is an egg. I'm not really sure what this is. But I do love this artist vision here. <laughs> I did, Kay. I did. <laughs> I did, Kay. I did. I had to. I had to. Mm -mm. I had to. All right, peace. Freedom from attachment. Freedom from attachment. Radical acceptance. It doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind. Who has a hard time quieting their mind? A heart fulfilled. Freedom from want. Who has freedom from want? That's a, that's an amazing feeling. To just be okay with your resources and your peoples around you. Has anybody ever felt that? And the soul's satisfaction. Is your soul satisfied? Hmm? Can you appreciate when your soul has been fed? Can you feel it sometimes? Can you sit in it? Can you sit in happy? 
it doesn't mean that like everything's like not going wrong. It means is there a moment in time that you can recognize this moment is happy? Because if you can recognize a moment, you'll get more of that. So even though I had a bad day yesterday, during the day, I had book club last night. So book club makes up for everything. Book club is very, whew, very pleasing to the soul. Even though everybody tells me how happy they are, they don't seem to understand how happy they make me. So book club made up for what happened during the day. But I was still upset, regardless. And uh, woke up this morning after a really restful sleep, but I know God had to zap me to sleep, right? Because I was almost like not sleeping. And I, I feel like God was like, just, just tell her to go to sleep, spirit. And I woke up this morning, I opened up my door and I can see the beach from, from, from where I am. And what I've noticed with the beach is that the colors change. The water's never the same. Every day it's a different color. And this morning it was uh, this color green that you see on the screen with the letter K. Almost like my shirt, like the colors change. And this morning it was like just like a mile out of this Caribbean green, I'll call it. And I just opened the door for a moment because usually I sit outside and commune with spirit and God and the birds. And today I didn't. I just opened the door, saw the sea. And in that moment, just for a moment, I acknowledged that looking at the sea made me happy. Just for that moment, I gave myself that. In spite of sometimes being around people that don't get me. That moment mattered between me and communing with God and spirit and looking out and going, okay. And it doesn't have to be the sea, guys. It could be a bird that comes to you. It could be a butterfly that crosses you. It could be a ladybug. When's the last time any of you saw a ladybug? I, I haven't seen a ladybug in years. I love ladybugs. I miss them. Um, in any case. Do you get it? Thank you, Kay. Oh. Oof. Kay says, release the energy, rest, cry it out, move forward, you have purpose. I know. Don't let other people's evil cause you to feel uncomfortable. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. Oh, so sweet. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Can you accept peace? Or is it more important to constantly accept anxiety, frustration, pain, you know, the inner fight in you that you're going to like go to work and, you know, have this battle when you're really, it's a spiritual warfare with yourself. Because there is a way to go to work in spite of all the crap that's going around you, in spite of, I don't know, antagonistic behaviors with customers or co-workers. There's still a way to go to work in peace. But you have to radically decide that that's a decision for you. Right? I mean, there's a way to go to family gatherings for Christmas this year. And not get engaged. Oh, they're about to fight. I wonder if I should just leave now. Like, get your dinner. You you showed up to grandma's house. Get your dinner and lie. Um, you know, my job. Oh, child. They just uh they just text me and uh I gotta be at work, it's fine. You work at a job that don't open till 10. I know. I don't even know why they're asking me to come in at 5. Oh, the job. Just the, you know, the babysitter's not lying. But radically, 
invest in peace radically. It's a choice. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. It really is. So enjoy it, but enjoy moments of harmony, right? Right? Don't expect 24 seven of harmony. The world isn't built that way. Have you seen the animals out there? They fight like cats and dogs. The animals do. You expect to have 100% peace and radical? No, no. Take those moments. If a moment is a good moment, have some coffee. Every time I see a UPS truck, I light up. I'm like, these here for me. That's my man. He's there for me. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll just read a little bit extra. This is called the protection message under peace. Now's the time for calmness and well-being in spite of temporary conditions. Even if there's discontent notes in the music of your life, all that means is that you must go within. Fine tune the extraordinary instrument that you are. Find harmony within yourself. And don't look to the outer world to provide that certainty. This too shall pass. Once again, your life will be filled with beautiful music. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I've got to get the right makeup for sunlight because this makeup's not working. Are we good? Is everybody happy? Does this bring you a moment of peace? Like, we can take the dashikis and bonnets as the beginnings of creating an amazing amount of a moment in time that you all here you all are here because you all are meant to be here or you all are listening to this later because it matters to your soul you know what do you think hi chase Oh, okay. Yeah, let's work on that, Terika. Let's work on quieting our mind and that everything is what it should be today, right now, right? Sometimes you can't quiet your mind because you don't have what you, you, your expectations, right? And that's reasonable. Like, it's okay to be in a space where I want what I want and it's not here and that does make you a little you know worrisome up in your brain and yet we've got to go back to a place of maybe time and let God work it out like right give up the ghost radically accept where you're at today I'm not saying it's okay I'm saying today and give up the ghost throw your hands up all right and then in that moment, when you throw your hands up, incorporate peace. If you just practice it, it gets better and better and longer. I promise you. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go. Oh, look at everyone here. I didn't even see you all here. I'm going to let you go. Hi, everyone. Good health. Oh, I'm so sorry I missed all of you. All right. I love you. I thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Terika, with the black hearts. <laughs> I love that. This is really encouraging. Thank you. Oh, child. Thank you. Thank you. 
for saying that, um, Emma. So if you want a reading with me, what's the code word? 213-458-7, wait, what's the code text? <laughs> code word. 213-458-7408, right? Text me and on IG, you could DM me if you want your own personal reading. But even if you want your own personal reading, I'm going to send you back to the text number. And that's the only way to assure. Oh, I got to show you guys something. I got to show you guys something. Hold on a second. Let's see. This is my newest baby in the house. I have not had a plant. I'm a plant lover. I kind of have a green thumb, but it's kind of depending upon me and the plant too. But this is my newest baby. <gasps> Look at the baby. Oh. And this is my little Lake Bud toy that Lake Bud made me found, but I gotta wash it. So dirty. Here's Lake Bud. There you go. Um, and other things on my beautiful counter. And then underneath my counter, I take all of my bracelets. And look how I do my bracelets underneath my counter. Can you guys see that? Is this not beautiful? It's beautiful. I take all the stones corresponding to the color and I match it to the bracelet. That's what I do. It's so much fun. All right, guys. Let's push you back here. I don't know why you're out of order. You're out of order. Let me show IG. This is my newest baby, IG. Look at the plant. And by the way, you can eat. Okay, I'm going to eat a plant in a minute. Hold on. You could eat this. This you could eat. And that's the only reason why I got it, because it'll help with my nerves. I don't think it has any medicinal stuff, but the four-leaf clover, maybe I should look it up. So the four-leaf clover... I used to eat as a kid. Wait, what happened? I used to eat the four-leaf clover as a kid. Mm -hmm. It has a sweetness. I love it. Mm. Mm. it. Tastes like lemon or lime, which is my favorite taste in the world. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. Mm. Mm. Has anybody ever eaten a four-leaf clover? Mmm. Oh, three-leaf clover? Maybe it's not four-leaf. Four-leaf is supposed to be good luck. But now I have my own four-leaf clover to eat. So I'm going to make sure that this grows. And the rest of these, there's a little cactus here. And the rest of, oh, damn it. The rest of these are um, succulents. And succulents, everyone... Very hard to kill a succulent, first of all, and they're good for prosperity. So get yourself some succulent plants, okay? All right, that's it. I love you. Goodbye. Oh, never. You never ate a 40? Eat it. It's so cool. All that sunlight in the home, I would put plants everywhere, attract all that energy in the home. Let it be known. Tracy is of the world. Oh, oh I didn't. Uh, you know, I this particular place, it's really temporary. Like, I don't expect to stay here a year. So I wasn't thinking about putting plants down because plants is like home. But I was out yesterday and I was just so drawn to this and it just looks so good uh, on this desk. Um, and I hear you, okay? I will definitely, oh, I want to grow basils too, Terrica. I want to grow basils because I love eating basils. Oh, and it, there's, basils are so good for candle magic. Ooh, chow. Basil? Now I need to do a whole video just on basil. All right, I'm over myself. Um, but succulents, but I'll listen to you. I will invest in more plants because plants, you're right. There's so much sunlight in the home. Why wouldn't I let plants in my house? All right, I listen to you.
Thank you, Kay. Um, I'll, I'll put them in potted plants because they have this thing out here in, in the Caribbean where um, I'm forgetting now. They have this thing about potted plants and mosquitoes outside, but I'll put the plants inside. I won't put them outside. I'll keep them inside. I think we listen to each other. I think we all, like, that's why we're here, right? Good morning, Miss Butterfly. That's a cute name, Miss Butterfly. I love it. I think we're all here to listen to each other. Don't think I'm the teacher. No. The teacher learns every day from you all. Every day. So don't think I'm the teacher. Um, all right. I better get up out of here. I got my morning readings to do. It starts in a half an hour, and I'm going to do a little zoning out, zending. Um, do a little um. Sometimes I can't let you go, but I got to go. I love you. I love you. YouTube, subscribe. I follow. And call me for your own personal readings. Text me, 213-458-7408. Bye.